follow me on TikTok now. Well, today we have a very exciting day in the world of Minecraft because we're trying out five more TikTok ticks. TikTok ticks. TikTok tips. <laughs> Please keep it. It's a tongue in. twister. That is, you, hold, you bite your tongue. We got a tick to tick tock top tip top. We got top tick tocks. Top tick tock tip tock ticks. It's not easy. I love it. I, I know it's not. I know it's not, bud. <laughs> the last time we did this, you guys absolutely loved it. So we're coming back again. And these ones are super duper awesome. We have a good array of some of them being building, others of them being cool redstone work. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what what is wrong with this man today. We No, I'm not giving it no, to no, you. No, no, you guys stop it. You guys need to calm yourself. This is a testing experiment area. Show some professionalism, boys. I love how Cappy I like how Steve puts a TNT in front of me and Cappy lights me on fire. Not even a TNT. Cappy's like, let's just get straight to the point. Alright, guys, so to start us off, we have something super simple. And that is the use of red moose mushrooms and how you can either one shear them in order to get mushrooms or two you can literally use a bowl on them to do the same thing what <laughs> steve i can't tell if you're being serious can you really do that <laughs> all right let's watch there we go so he pulls up over to a mushroom island biome which i can show you guys exactly how to locate using minecraft commands he then goes ahead picks him up and i don't know why he picks him up first but then he shears him so that turns him into a regular cow but the big thing that he covers as well later on in this is that if you take a bowl and run up to the mushroom cow, you'll basically get a full bowl of soup, which basically means you're better off saving these cows for a permanent food source as opposed to, uh, well, shearing them. So if you do slash locate biome and scroll all the way down to mushroom field shore, boom, it'll tell you the biome and then you can just left click that to teleport over. And here we are, our very own mushroom biome. Now you just got to look around and eventually you might find some mushroom cows. So all you need to do is run up to them, right click it and look you'll get yourself some mushroom stew. However, if you really wanted to, you can, of course, shear them to make them into a normal cat. You punk! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shear them, Steve. I'm sorry. I didn't even get my bowl of soup. Oh, here, you have mine. Not the same. Wait, Steve, Bing, you found that one so impressive. I got a really funny one for you. Do you know what happens when you shear a, uh, a snow golem? No, actually, I don't. What happens? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, my God. No. You Wait, didn't know that? Head. Yeah, you shear oh that off. Oh, my God. Yeah, you guys didn't know that? No. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. All right, come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that end of the work day. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Question. You killed him. No, oh, him in a boat. Put him in a boat. What are we doing to this man? Hold on. Okay, now Steve, lead him. Oh, I want to see if you can make a flying boat. Like if I could get in with He's him. He's mine. <laughs> Alright, so this one says it's how you troll your friend in Minecraft. Now, I think we know okay. a thing or two about that as the buddies, but let's give it a watch real quick. Okay, so it's building up with scaffoldings. Oh, I know where this is going. Fill him up with them chimpkins. Or lava, it said, but I like the chimpkins better because it's very funny what happens with them. And as soon as they hit the ground, boom! They pop into a million chimpkins. So Excuse me? Yeah, you didn't know that. If you stack a bunch of chimpkins together, All they right, we're fall as one, and then they explode. You're bad. So you can use any kind of block for this. You don't need to necessarily use scaffolding, but if you want to, you can just go ahead and click, keep right-clicking that to get all the way up as high as you want to go. Ooh, scaffolding fancy, is so fancy. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once you get all the way up, oh my god, I didn't realize how many I... Oh, it's because someone keeps... Stop building! Who keeps building them? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a never-ending staircase. Okay. I'm going up. So once you get up to the tippity top of them, then you go ahead and you try to build outward from them. So you just shift-click, 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 like so. And you Ooh. build up one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, got him. And now you just start spawning in a bunch of chickens. All right, all right, but so here you why? go. So you spawn them all on top of each other, Steve. And the thing is, when they hit the ground eventually, what's going on? Okay, yeah, entity cramming. Okay, so you spawn a bunch of them as many as you can until you get entity cramming, and they start dying. Then you go down to the bottom. And when you break it, they slowly descend down. And as soon as they hit the floor, they explode outward into a million different directions, creating a chicken cannon. It's actually very funny. Excuse there we me? go. Oh, you'll see it, Steve. You'll see it. Yeah. 
Are they on their way down slowly? Yeah. Yeah, they're on their way down. There they go. Make sure you don't accidentally touch them. Oh, looks like some of them are already broken apart, but the main of them, look at them. That's the main, the main event. You see it, Steve, right there at the bottom? Oh, I see it, I see oh, it. I'm gonna yeah. lay them all on fire. Well, you're gonna have to wait 30 years for them to land. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, wait for it to land. Wait, Cap, you don't want to roast them? Wait, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and wait for it. Oh my god, look at that chicken bomb in the middle. Dude, that chicken bomb, as soon as it hits, I just Fix love the it. Hole. There we go, and... Pew! Oh my god. And the more you have, the further out it goes. You said something about an explosion, right? Steve, what? you are done with TNT, young man. Chicken explosion! Oh yeah! <sighs> Click that bell! <laughs> Now this next one, I don't even know if it's true to be honest. We're gonna test it out and see if it actually works. But supposedly, as I'm watching this, a Ravager, the big scary thing from raids, is actually afraid of rabbits. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, apparently it is. The second part of it is something that I definitely know for sure though, and it's about raising the height of campfires. And I know this because Cappy was the one who told me about it. So let's get the easy one out of the way real quick. If you go ahead and get yourself a campfire, and then if you type in as well, hey Bale, all you have to do is put down your campfire like so, break underneath it, put a hay bale, and it'll raise the height of the fire itself. See, look at that. One of them looks almost like a smoke signal compared to the other one. Oh my goodness, I was looking at the flames. I didn't even realize what you meant about like the smoke stack. Oh yeah, my dude, goodness. and that's just the hay bale. Now for the more complicated one, if you don't know what a Ravager is, a Ravager is a mob in Minecraft that comes at the end of a raid. The way you get a raid to start is you have to find a pillager that has the banner of bad omen. Once you kill him and take that banner of bad omen, you get that effect. And if you approach a village, it causes a raid to start. So for instance, here's a peaceful old village. However, if we were to go ahead and type in to give ourselves a Minecraft effect, so we did slash give at Jerome ASF. So if we were to type in slash effect give and then go down to Jerome ASF and scroll through these and get to bad omen. So if we were to go through this type of the, the command slash effect space give space Jerome ASF Minecraft bad omen, it would start a raid if we were in a village. Fight your way through endless amounts of enemies and eventually you'll get to the Ravager. All right, guys, well, here's the moment. What are I don't even want to know what you're building. But here's the moment of truth, guys. You ready? If we take... Mm -hmm. Are you trying to ring bells? With Hold on. Oh, God. You want to see the best thing ever? <sighs> Listen to the sound of this, Jerome. Oh, no. You ready? I'm going to hate this, aren't I? I'm going to hate this. I'm going to hate this. Uh, just got to find the sweet spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. You look for the button. Oh, my God. That actually worked on all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. You ready? Here's a Ravager. And if we go and spawn a rabbit... No, oh. it's fake. They're not afraid of phony. rabbits. I That's like stupid. I was so excited. What if you hit him first? Dude, I figured it'd be fake because I was wondering why they did such a simple tip at the end of it. And I think that's why. I think they did a simple tip at the end. So people be like, oh, maybe it is real. Not well, falling for it. We don't lie here on this channel. This ain't real. It's fake. All right. Now, these next tips, I'm going to combine into one because they're both really cute building techniques. So the first one is going to be how to build yourself a very basic bridge in Minecraft. So you start with some campfires. You then douse them out when you build them across the way that you want to uh, get across. So like whatever kind of ravine or any kind of drop off. And then after that point, you put some fence posts on each side and you have a really cute bridge. The second one that we're going to be covering is how to build yourself a very simple sandcastle, which honestly, if you just leave on the shorelines of any server, they're sure to brighten up someone's day. It's just a funny little cute thingy that you can do. And it only takes moments. Look at that. So here we go. Let's say we had our treacherous valley over here that we have to get across. Well, we just go ahead and put ourselves the campfires going this way. Boom. All right, we got that part. Put the oak fences down on each side like so. And then all we need to do left would be to pour water on top of them. And then you just have to go ahead and pick up the uh, water source blocks so that it stops uh, spreading around. And ta-da! Once you pick up all the water sources, you now have a really cool traditional style bridge. And this last thing, Cappy, I think you're going to absolutely love because you're a real building uh, uh, guru, if you will. So, uh, you ready? You put down yeah. some good old sandstone like so. You then surround it using stairs all the way around. Okay. Okay, okay. And now here's the cool part. Now that they have the new update that allows you to put water in between them, you go like that. Ooh! Aww. It's a really cute, tiny little castle. And then what some kid comes by and it? kicks the castle. No, Steve, no. Ah, you're just that guy, aren't you? Yeah. You want something else that's really cute in this kind of style? Yeah. If you take two blocks, like so. Yeah. And you, and you, 
and you and you and you and you and you and you make it like that. You can make the cutest little infinite water source. Steve, we're doing science. You can make science? the cutest little infinite water source ever. Is it actually infinite water source? All right, let me oh try it. God. Look at that. It actually works. That's crazy. Yeah. And now this last one I thought would be a really cool build project. Someone like Cappy would absolutely appreciate this because, well, he's a professional builder in Minecraft. But more or less is how to build an actual arcade machine. Now, it doesn't work, but if you throw it into any other build that you like, I mean, trust me, it's going to be cool. Like, I'm watching it out of the corner of my eye right now. Super easy to make, though. And once you're done with it, oh, man, it's sure to impress anyone who comes by your place. All right, there we go. So you use the piston block to push the dragon head and the armor stand down. Paintings. Oh, oh and a carpet. Can't forget the red carpets. All right, all right. Look at that. Easy does it. All right, so first thing you do is you break a hole in the ground right there, place down the armor stand, put a dragon head on top of it. All right, next up, you're going to go ahead and build up a couple of wool, just like so. So after that, you put this here, put those down. Then you want to put the piston facing downward on top of it and then you're ready for the magic part. You go ahead, use a redstone circuit to push that down, and boom, the wool goes inside of the armor stand. And then you break it, like, right there, or not. My bad. <laughs> All right, so from there, you're good with the rest of this, so you can break the rest of the contraption there, and you're almost done. You're getting there. You're getting closer and closer. You put down the red wool there. Oh, wait. Oh, well, someone's... Uh, what, 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 what's, uh, you were good. You had it. You had it. The red wool there. Okay. Two thousand years later. All right, so we had to tamper with it a little bit to make it work. I don't know if it was because he was on Bedrock and we're on Java, but the way we got it to work on Java Edition was simply putting a slab below the armor stand first. So you put the slab down, put the dragon head on top. You want to make sure it's centered though, or else. Uh... So there you go. You want to put the dragon head on top and make sure that it is perfectly centered. Then from here, we're ready to start the process. So we're gonna want to go ahead and piston glitch this thing down so we go up like so and then you want to go ahead do a little bit of that go ahead set up the piston push it down boom boom and now we have the start of the joysticks up here yeah so then from there we go ahead and you want to go ahead and put a red wool up like that and then you also want to go ahead and put down a carpet and you can attach a carpet onto, oh, not that part of it. You want to attach the carpet onto, there we go, perfect. There you go. And now he's placed the painting on the inside of there. Oh, oh so, oh, put, put a carpet you, there. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we'll right. put the painting first, and then you might be able to put the carpet down. So now for this as well, same thing. We don't know if it's Bedrock versus Java, but for whatever reason, we can't get it to work on Java Edition. So you want to go ahead and just build some wool up there. You could put the painting behind it, and you have yourself a very basic arcade machine with some joysticks. Look at that. So there it is, everybody. Those are the top five TikTok tip, tip, tips for TikTok. I could say it right one of these days. And if you guys enjoyed, boop, follow me on TikTok now.